In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use GIMP to put your photographs on a cube, like you see here. I'm going to start by closing this project. And then go over to the File menu and select Open as Layers. Using this option will allow us to import all of our photographs on different layers. So select three photographs. And to select more than one photograph at a time, just hold down the control key while you click them. And then press open. And now I have my three photographs on three different layers. And I think the cube looks a little bit better when there's a border placed around each of the images. So to do that, go over to the rectangle select tool and start in the left hand corner just a little bit away from the top and the left side and then drag a selection box until you get almost to the bottom right. And then click on the checkbox over here for rounded corners and then move the slider until you get a radius that you like. And then click on the fill bucket tool. Make sure your foreground color is set to black and also make sure that this checkbox is clicked for fill whole selection. And right now, the inside of this selection is what's selected, and we want to select the outside of it. So go up to the Select menu and click on Invert. And now just put your cursor somewhere in this border area and click. And then to add this same border to your other photographs, just turn off the top layer, and then click on the second layer, and then click in the border area again. And then just repeat this for the bottom one also. And then turn off the selection. And you do that by going to the Select menu and choose None. And now turn the layers back on again. And then go up to the Filters menu and select Map and Map Object. And under General Options here, select the Box option. And then click on Transparent Background. And then go to the Light tab. And this gives you choices for several light types. And we want to choose No Light. What that means is we won't be applying any special lighting. But our cube will still be lit up with the normal lightness of the photographs that we have and then click on the Orientation tab. And here we can rotate our cube. And you'll notice that right now that it's a wire frame that's rotating. If you click on Update Live Preview and then unclick Show Wire Frame, then you can rotate your actual images on the cube. If you have large photographs though, this can really be slow. And so that's why they provide the Show Wire Frame option. The photographs that I'm using are pretty small, so this option works okay for me. So then set the rotations for what looks good to you. And I'm going to adjust this to about right here. And then I'm going to pull the rotation for the y-axis in the negative direction. And then I'm also going to increase the z-axis just a little bit. And next select the box tab. And this is where we will choose which image is placed on which side of the cube. So to set our front image, which is this one, we have a drop-down box for front. And so I'm going to select this image. And then you can press the Preview button here to see that image placed on this side of the cube. And then for the top of the cube, I'm going to go over here and select this image. And again, I'll press the Preview button to see that. And that's all I need to do. So now I can press the OK button. So then now you can turn off these three bottom layers. And you'll notice that this cube has sharp corners on it. And I prefer the corners to be rounded a little bit. So to round the corners, just zoom in on the corner 
and then go over to the eraser tool and select that and then pick a brush I use this soft brush right here that has a hardness of 075 and then you can just come over here and just erase a little bit of this corner off and it doesn't take much so I'm going to pause the video and then finish up these other corners around here okay so I finished rounding all the corners so now the only thing that we have left is to add a background so you can click on the Create New Layer button here. And then for Layer Fill Type, you can just set this to white and click OK. And then move this layer down below the layer that has the cube on it. And you can do that by pressing this green down arrow. And then set the color for your background. And I'm going to use a gray color and then select the Bucket Fill tool and click on the background. And that's our finished cube. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.